five, four, three, two. Good morning. It's Wednesday, February 8th, and it's a gold day. I'm Matthew Turner. I'm Andrew Barber. We are host of this morning's WCHS announcements. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please sit for a moment of silence. Seniors will report to the CPAC after fourth period today for an important senior meeting. Coming to Calhoun, America's oh Got Talent finalists, illusionists David and Jenny. They will be doing two shows on March 15th. The first show will be during fifth period. Tickets can be purchased from your homeroom teacher after the winter break. Tickets are five bucks and you must have a ticket to watch the show. The second show will be at 6 p.m. on March 15th. This show is open to the public. More info is coming later about how to buy tickets for the show. Students, if you're interested in taking dual enrollment classes for 2018-2019 year but have not registered for courses, the deadline is February 13th. In order to register wow. for applicable dual enrollment courses, you must have qualifying test scores on the SAT, ACT, or Accuplacer. Check to see if you have a qualifying score or if you need to sign up to take the Accuplacer, you should see Dr. Hayes or Ms. Hawkins in the Media College and Career Center. Deadline is February 13th. Harvesting Scholars is hosting its annual mm -hmm. college fair on Saturday, February 25th at Georgia Highlands College, Cartersville campus. From 12 to 3 p.m., several organizations have confirmed their participation as well as local community groups that offer scholarships and job readiness information. Pre-registration is encouraged and can be completed at www.harvestingscholars.org. And now we're going to go over to Ms. Parker for a special announcement that she wanted to deliver in person this morning. Take it away, Ms. Parker. Good morning, CHS. I wanted to share an important announcement for AP students and homeroom teachers. AP test forms have been collected and exam prices have been calculated. Homeroom teachers will have their testing envelope returned in their mailboxes. Teachers, please distribute forms to your homeroom students on Thursday morning. That's this morning. Students, you should receive a test form with your calculated exam price listed. Some of you may notice that you do not owe money this year. That is because you're taking an exam paid for by the state for being STEM related. All forms and money are due to Ms. Parker, that's me, no later than March 5th. You can drop payment and forms off in my CMS office at any time. There is a payment bucket that is set up plus extra envelopes available. Please make sure that your payment is clearly labeled and includes your test order form. This is important. Even if you do not owe money this year, you must still turn your test order form back in so that you are officially signed up for testing. Only students who return their form and or money will be eligible to test. Please make sure that you have signed up for my AP Reminds. Please direct any questions or concerns my way, and any student who did not receive a test order form back this morning should see me for an additional form. Thanks, and have a great day. Thank you, Ms. Parker. Some good information right there. In the senior section of the announcement, seniors will report to the CPAC after fourth period today for an important senior meeting, like I said before. Blood Assurance is awarding 10 $1,500 scholarships this year. We have mm. extended the deadline to submit applications to February 15th. Sweet. Information about this and other scholarships is also posted on the CHS website. Mm -hmm. Any senior who has ever been involved with the Interact Club would like a scholarship information. Please see Mr. Stewart as soon as possible. The Interact Scholarship is $1,000. Senior fees of $90 are due by March 30th. These fees include their cap and gown. Students can order online at georgiabalfour.com. Contact Ms. Arnold if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. In sports, due to the weather, Calhoun boys soccer team had to cancel their home opener Man. and instead travel to East Paulding High School on Wednesday. The Resilient Jackets made the best of the situation and came home with a 2-1 win. Hey. Scoring both goals for the Jackets was Daniel Isep. Walker Azario had one assist and Eduardo Fajardo had one save. Good job, yeah. Congrats to the boys basketball team for defeating North Mary last night by a score of 58-38. to 38. The boys will be in action again on Friday. 
to take on the Sonorville Phoenix at Ooh. Sonorville in the semifinals of the 6th AAA tournament. Fun. Golfers need to stop by Coach Stevens in the room, CLO7, to sign up and get information on tryouts. I already did that, so we don't need nice. to do it. Right. Today in history, on this day in 1943, Japanese troops evacuate Guadalcanal, leaving the island in Allied possession after a prolonged campaign. The American victory paved the way for the Allied wins in the Solomon Islands. Having a birthday, birthday today is Aaron one. Blake. Happy Aaron birthday. Blake, happy birthday to you. And for everybody else, have a terrific Thursday. Go, Go Jackets. Jackets.